Good afternoon, everybody. This is our first transmission, our first um, little video to explain um, about some of the work that we do. Um, and so by the end of this three minutes, you'll know what Julian Campbell Foundation is. You'll know about some of the work that we do. And if you've got any questions, please post them below. So welcome everybody and thank you for watching this video. Uh, my name's Jackie Campbell and I'm the creator, creator and founder of Julian Campbell Foundation. Julian Campbell Foundation is dedicated to my little brother, Julian, who committed suicide now 10 years ago um, due to his problem, pr problems with um, bipolar disorder. So my experience is, is that I have been a science teacher for 20 years and I really loved it. And when I was teaching, I saw that there was a need. Sometimes there were many young um, people that needed help and needed support. Um, and I didn't have the, the knowledge, I didn't have the training to be able to support them. Research shows that sometimes from the, from the first symptoms to when a young pe person gets help, there's 10 years. And really we are, part of what we do is to, um, to um, give direct and immediate attention and intervention to stop um, symptoms from getting worse and to prevent men mental illness um, while adults. So inspired or motivated through the death of my brother and not wanting anybody to suffer the way that he suffered, I um, created Julian Campbell Foundation. So what are the kind of things that we do in Julian Campbell Foundation? Um, we train up mentors and we've got an accredited course and the mentors support young people and show them how to identify their moods and how to manage them, how to manage them in themselves and other people. Because research shows that when we are able, young people are able to identify their, well, their, their moods when they're young and to be able to change them, that when you're young is the best time to do it because these tools that we that we use to show them how to manage their moods, they can use for the rest of their lives. So we train mentors, that's one thing. We go into schools and in schools we do, we run psychodrama, drama workshops. They're really exciting, they're really fun and it's a fun way of showing a young person um, how to identify and manage their stress, anxiety and depression. Because once they know that they're feeling depressed, they can do something to take themselves out of that mood state. So for example, they can contact a friend and speak with them. They can go for a walk or do something they really enjoy to change their mood. A lot of our mentors are in the community and a lot of them do mentor in schools. Um, aside from that, we have started a youth wellbeing movement. So some of you would have seen our videos um, with Entity All Stars um, from Britain's Got Talent. They're the winners from Britain's Got Talent and Tito Jackson last month on World Mental Health Day. And this video is the start of a promotion. The best way that we can promote youth wellbeing and the cheapest way that we can promote youth wellbeing is by promoting three things. Promoting the importance for each young person to have relationships with people that inspire them and have relationships with um, and, and do things that inspire them. Um, because having negative relationships or having relationships with people that aren't inspiring aren't really good for their development. Also as well, um, it's really important to have a bit of exercise. Young people, they do need one hour exercise a day. And so that doesn't have to be one hour all at once. That can be five minutes to school, five minutes back from school and five minutes walking from, from lesson to lesson. In total, it needs to be an hour because an hour a day uh, is the minimum required to help lift their mood because exercise is like a... Um, antidepressant and also if there's anything that's on their mind or on your mind um, something that's happened that's really stressful something that you need to speak about then you have to speak about it because when things happen when bad things happen and when you're stressed out because of your exams then it really does help a problem shared is a problem halved and by speaking with somebody about it will really really help 
it will take away, it will move your mood, mood state from being depressed or being stressed and anxious to feeling a bit more calm. As you're speaking about your problems, then you can also arrange or prepare, or how can I say, um, make up a plan and how you can solve this problem. And a problem shared is a problem half. So... This is the first transmission about Julian Campbell Foundation and the reason why I'm doing it is because it's subject to popular demand. People have been asking questions about the work that we do. Um, each week we're going to have different themes because people are asking me, well, you know, what is your book about? Um, how did you get to work with Tito Jackson? Who's Lorraine Pascal? And all these other people, all these exciting people. Um, a bit more about the wellbeing movement is that... Um, Part of that well-being movement is is motivating celebrities and chefs and other people that are in the public eye and moving them to want to take part in uh, the well-being movement because it's really important that our youth are um, are shown how to manage their own well-being. Sixty or seventy years ago, the only people that got depressed were older people that were retired, and because they were retired, they got depressed. Now in this day and age, we have young people being depressed. We have three-year-olds taking Prozac. We have three-year-olds going to hospital because of anxiety, and that's got to stop. So the aim of all of this is to really turn things around. What do we need from you? What I need from you is for you to carry on your interest. Thank you so much for watching this video. And could you please follow us on Facebook? We've got a Facebook page and like us ask a friend to like us um can you please donate um we have a youtube channel so please um follow us and we've got we're on twitter as well and instagram so please show us your interest because the more people we have to join our movement the more difference we can make for the young people today and stop um, stop all of this and really turn things around because it's not great that um, one in five teenagers are, have, a, have a mental illness um, or one in every classroom of 30, um, there's three or four in every classroom of 30 that are suffering from depression, stress or anxiety, self-harm or have got bulimia and anorexia and we need all of your help and support to overcome this. Thank you very much for listening and I look forward to speaking with you again next week. Bye-bye.